Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And tonight I'm doing a review on one of my buddy's guns. This is a Taurus model 605, 357 Magnum snub nose revolver. So we'll verify she's empty. Yeah, nothing in there. <clears throat> this is a sweet little revolver. Uh, it's Weighs quite a bit, weighs oh gosh, 28 ounces, empty, but it's got a, just a good feel to it. If you look at these grips, these nice rubber Taurus grips, and if you've ever tried Taurus, rubber Taurus grips for these little revolvers, it just has a really good feel to it. Of course, this is a five shot, double action, single action, so you can shoot it like that or double action. Um, it's got fixed sights, a front blade and a rear fixed right into the frame. Um, let's see, it's a little snub nose, dude. Let me give you particulars of it. Uh, it holds five rounds, see right there, 38 or 357. Hammer fired. Of course, it just comes with the cylinder that it has right there. No other cylinders with this particular pistol. Um, it is a small si uh, frame revolver with a two inch barrel. Overall length is six and a half inches. Um, four and a little less than a half inches high from top to the bottom of the grip. Overall width is a little under an inch and a half. Um, 24, 26 ounces uh, uh, empty weight. Uh, it does have a transfer bar safety. And of course it has the kind of goofy little thing that the Taurus revolvers have. I know pretty much every Taurus pistol. And I'll show you that here in a minute when I give you, you know, a closer up look at this thing. Um, of course, this thing is kind of an all steel revolver. Let me read to you what Taurus has down here. A 357 Magnum five shot revolver that is ideal for concealed carry. The Taurus 605 is built to the Taurus Zen tolerance standard in design, fabrication, fit, and performance meaning that there is simply no tolerance for parts that do not perform if someone uh, someone's life depended on them. So they say, your life should depend on this. Of course, Taurus has a lifetime warranty. Um, uh, of course, there's a lot of people out there that still have a little, uh, I don't know about Taurus, but the Tauruses I've had, I've had no problems with them. And, and Victor, from what I understand, hasn't had any problems with this pistol. We did take it out last week and fire it on the range. And so we'll show you some of that. What it can do is pretty accurate little pistol to get used to the sight picture. And, and of course, 357 a bit more snappy than 38. But with a little extra weight, it does help with the, the, the recoil. Um, this is a matte stainless. Um, both in the barrel, the cylinder, and the frame. And of course, it's all stainless steel, all steel revolver. And so, you know, it's pretty heavy, fit and finish. Uh, it looks really good. Um, again, I really like the feel of those, um, those grips. I mean, your, your little finger even has something to hold on to at the bottom there. And of course, this is very concealable. There's a lot of good holsters out there that will use this. And uh, uh, just, a, just a good concealed carry revolver if you're into revolvers. You know, you pull the trigger, they're going to shoot for the most part. So let me go ahead and get you a little closer up to it. And, uh, and then we'll show you the little key system that these Tauruses have if you've never had to deal with that. All right, so here we got a little closer up look of this thing. So again, we'll open her up and make sure that, you know, she's empty. Of course she is. 
Um, one thing about these stainless steel revolvers, I don't particularly like cleaning them. And if you've heard any of my other revolver reviews, you know, it seems like one of the pain in the butt things to clean is the end of the cylinder here just gets so filled with carbon. And I just do what old Yankee Marshall said, is you get you one of them green Scotch-Brite pads and a little bit of hops, number nine, and just scrub on that a bit, and that'll come right off. Doesn't leave any scratches. Doesn't get weird crap down inside the thing. And, you know, you use that uh, mag stainless steel uh, cleaner for, uh, you know, wheels and things like that. And that stuff gets down in there. I just don't like it. I'd rather have hops in there. But, uh, you know, use that and clean it up. It's pretty good. Now, again, this had a little tiny two-inch barrel, but it's it's pretty accurate at seven to ten yards. And you can see these rubber grips have some pretty good texture to it, both the front, back, sides. Um, now, this little key thing. Notice this deal in the back here. I'm not screwing up this picture here. Uh... Now, you notice it's working right here just fine. And then I put this thing in here and I tighten her down. And it ain't gonna work. And so you just undo the little Allen head. That's all it is, Allen head. And, and there it goes. So pretty much every Taurus handgun has one of these key things. I don't know how many of these key things I've got hanging around. Uh, most of them do. I, I I don't believe the G2C has it. I have to look. But I know the PT-92 has it. And uh, my big frame revolvers have it. But uh, anyway, that's kind of a, a little closer look at this guy. And uh, the price point is pretty good. For you know, three and a half, you can get you a nice stainless steel revolver. And these things got to lifetime warranty on them and uh my experience is you know uh taurus uh, does fulfill its warranties and uh um, i really haven't had that many problems with my taurus revolvers and handguns but uh that's kind of a little close up and we'll show you some range time with this thing and then kind of do a final nuts and bolts breakdown or a, a send off of this and that'll be it Okay, we have a Taurus, model 605, 357, except we're throwing some 38 out of it today. So this is Victor, we're still going to give it a run here. All right, there we go. All right, so, little, uh, do I like this revolver? I, I like it. It's got a good feel. Uh, it shoots good. It's very concealable. Uh, you've got a good warranty back and behind it. And so, uh, you know, with this particular pistol, I give it a thumbs up. Go give it a try. I mean, price point's good. I mean, this is half as much as you're going to be paying for a Smith & Wesson, but of course, you, Smith & Wesson is Smith & Wesson revolvers. I don't know many other revolvers that are better than that, but uh, of course, just your average, general revolvers. But, uh, you know, I've, I've had several different snubbies over time as military and civilian cop. And, you know, I carried a Model 36 as a, a military cop for a while, and I had a charter arms ultralight as a backup as a, a, a civilian cop and and then uh, my experience with these Taurus revolvers and you know whether it's Charter Arms, Smith & Wesson, Taurus um, so far I haven't had no problem so to speak from any of them every time I've pulled the trigger they've gone boom so anyway a thumbs up from deep in the heart of Texas for this Taurus model 605 357 Snub nose revolver. And as always, God bless Texas. 
God bless the United States and long live the Republic.